Hi. Hello. Hi guys. My name is Brock Crow. Um, I've been practicing art for about a year now, pretty consistently. I wanted to share with you my progress over one year as someone who is not in a formal art training or uh, doesn't have any real experience previous to this. That way you can kind of see what the progress looks like over a year with a little bit of practice every day and uh, maybe compare. Maybe this will help you in your journey. Um, I can also, I'm also going to give some tips on what I learned and what you could do to avoid making some of the same mistakes that I did. I have joined an online art school in the last eight weeks through Mark Brunet's program uh, in CubeBrush. It's called YouTube Art School. Um, it's been really helpful and in the last eight weeks I believe my progress has been faster than it was over the previous 10 months. So that's my first tip is like if you can afford to do some type of training, this one's only $60 for eight weeks. So in my opinion it's a great value and you'll see the difference between my work uh, two months ago and what I'm producing now. So this is my uh, first sketchbook. I bought this in February, or in March, I'm sorry, of 2023, and finished it in February of this year. Um, this was super helpful. I used it for like planning. There was a little while where I was making videos. Mochi! Sorry about that, this little dog was barking. <clears throat> Calm down, good girl. Okay, be free. So this is my first sketchbook. It's been super helpful as in learning and my progress for the year. You can kind of see where I started here. Uh, you could tell the, uh, the work is not great. So we're gonna go through this sketchbook and I'm gonna show you some of my progress for over those 10 months before I joined the art program with here my I was Brunet. doing like eye studies, trying to draw like different types of eyes. Um, I don't think any of these were particularly, particularly successful. Uh, maybe this one down here was pretty decent on the right. Just a few scribbles. This this page here <clears throat> was for like planning out a camping video that my wife and I were shooting. Some notes. Here's my first attempt at perspective. You can kind of see like the bench is an attempt at going into perspective, even though it's really bad. Uh, you can kind of see what's going on there. The cityscape's a little bit better on the right. The perspective on these buildings is much better. Um, you got the vanishing point uh, and one point perspective. I was just trying to learn how to draw, really struggling. You can see like the people in the canoe and those birds, they're all out of whack. Like that one fish looks like he's on top of the water. <clears throat> Here you can see this is August of 2023. So I really didn't do much between uh, the, the first three or four months. I kind of wasn't taking it seriously. I wasn't working at all really. But you'll see, there's been a lot of improvement in the last few months. <clears throat> this is like my first attempt at drawing figures. I was like building the skeletons with a... Uh, like stick figures and then trying to build up their bodies on top. I think I did pretty good. It just took a really long time. Like these really simple gestures took me probably an hour or two. The uh, turtle pencil drawing was one of my favorite actually. I, I really, really enjoyed doing that one. Um, it took me a long time though. Uh, this is an attempt to draw my wife when we were at lunch. Um, it's pretty bad, you know, her face is kind of jacked up in this. Uh, but you know, I'm trying to learn. Uh, this was the first day when we got Derwent fine liners. Um, the Derwent fine liners were actually really good uh, to use as well as good value. You can see a few of my works uh, were with this set of fine liners, but these were really cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks for a, uh, a pack of six. And they come in different sizes, uh, various sizes from like, I don't know if you can see this. They come in various sizes uh, and that gives you like different line qualities. Um, since I did use those for a while, but my friend actually sent me these, I think these are a little better. So if you can afford to switch to these, these are Sigma Sakura Pigma Micron pens. These are really, really good quality. Oh, this was my first ink drawing that I did. This was really cool. I did a tutorial on YouTube um, for like drawing a house in pen and ink. This was really nice. I, I still really like this one, even though it's, it's not my best. It's been a while since I did that one, but I really like that one. I actually saw a 10 hundred video where someone requested he draw a long dog. I thought that was a funny concept, so I, I did that as well. This was uh, us watching YouTube. We were like trying to draw little heart people um, in the style of CMS Blackbean. I don't know if you've ever seen him. You should check him out. His channel is great. Uh, he specializes in oil pastels. <clears throat> This is like a floating head I did in pen. This is like random drawings. 
Uh, this is actually an idea I had that I think is really funny, but maybe my skill set is not there. Uh, I want to do like a Buddha version of my dog. And, uh, you know, it didn't work out. As you can see, it looks pretty silly. This was cool. It was like a little skinny, lanky dude. <clears throat> this is something I was really proud of. I actually still really like this drawing. I did a digital version of this as well. Um, it's like a, like a space lady jamming out on headphones. She's like pro plugged into her vinyl and the cassette tapes and the boom box. This just didn't work out. This is a koala, attempt at a koala. This is a page of doodles. Sometimes when I'm like struggling for an idea, I'll uh, go through and just start drawing little doodles of whatever I can. This is the first day I got colored pencils. I was trying to like shade this uh, orbital, like it was an egg, honestly. But uh, as you can see, it was purple and orange, so not exactly realistic. This was really fun. This was like um, a wizard in a poncho. This is the kind of stuff that I, I tend to think about. <laughs> Weird stuff. I must have been having a bad day while I drew this guy with the uh, old finger there. <clears throat> this is my first attempt with colored pencils. And this is a super cheap set, but I feel like the colors are pretty full. This is an Artist Loft set. This was cheap. I think this was like 10 bucks for 36 pencils. But like, even if you can't afford the best materials, don't let that hold you back from starting uh, with a new material. This was really fun. This was like a like a weird weirdo style flamingo, psychedelic smiley face. You know, a few classics. Here's like me attempting to draw heads. <laughs> Look at that guy. It's like a, it's pretty out of whack. You can see there, maybe. I really like this character, the uh, the like little rocker frog guy. Um, I had a really good time drawing him. I'm still thinking to use this character. Um, and a more rendered work. The Thunder Man was very cool. Uh, I was trying to design t-shirts. If you want to check it out, I have an Etsy store with t-shirts. If you want to check out any of the graphic designs I did. Um, but this anchor is like a hand-drawn uh, ink pen drawing. And then I took uh, an octopus drawing of like a kraken <coughs> and scanned it on the t-shirt. That came out really cool. Um, I'll show you guys in the video. It's like an attempt at a ramen house, tiki face, uh, monkey guy. The whole time I was doing these drawings, it's really just a, an active practice. So you're using a sketchbook to get ideas down, to work out things in your head, maybe see how the shape of something, um, to see if it's possible for you to do a better drawing later. Or if you just want to, if you have an idea, you could just sketch it out really quick and then uh, you can refer to it at any time. So sometimes I would like get ideas for t-shirts and I would just write down what I was thinking or I would like uh, just try to doodle, you know, keep practicing and um, build up those skills over time. It's just a, it's a long grind trying to learn art. This is one of my favorites too. This is like a, some fan art from Gundam. I did in pen and ink. I really like this one. It came out pretty clean. The symmetric, the symmetry is nice too. I think it looks pretty good as far as like both sides of the head. But in art, you just gotta have to, you have to keep trying, man. It's up and down. You know, there's a lot of failures. Uh, this was really cool, I like this. <clears throat> there's a lot of failures, a lot of attempts. Um, just practice. Spend your time like working, uh, watching tutorials. I was doing a lot of uh, jumping around in materials. I think that really held me back as well. I was like, trying to learn colored pencils and watercolor and pen and ink and learning how to draw all at the same time. Honestly, I think it's better to focus on maybe one thing at a time. Uh, and if you want to add something else, maybe outside of your focus and you want to do something for fun, just pick one other medium. Like right now I'm doing YouTube art school only where I'm uh, doing value drawing in black and white. And I'm doing watercolor paintings. <coughs> watercolor paintings for fun. But uh, you really need to like pick something to niche in that way you can master one skill and then apply those skills to other things. This was my first attempt at Inktober. I remember this was like so much fun the first day I did the pineapple. The second day I did a teapot. The third day I did this like Halloween theme. Um, I was having a lot of fun with it. And then like on day five, I just lost motivation. I drew like this like half-assed sheep. I drew that like coffee cup in like five minutes. I skipped a day. Uh, started on day seven. I drew like some Bob's Burgers Mario mashup. 
a Pikachu, uh, some of my favorite Nintendo characters, but I was just getting lazy at this point and like ended up not continuing. So that was my first Inktober failure. Um, this year, I'm definitely gonna get 30, 30 drawings or 31 drawings, however many days are <clears throat> in October. This was crazy. Those are just like some little doodles, but like, like I was saying about sketching things out, I really like this bird character. He's super simple shapes, but I really like like his little, his little circular body and the fat head and the little polygonal feet. I thought it was very cute. It was like some more head practice. Um, I still struggle with this. It's hard to get facial features right. It takes like hours, 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 hours of practice. A lot of commitment goes into drawing a uh, portraiture. I was doing gesture drawings here, trying to learn how to like uh, capture the gesture quickly. Um, I actually didn't make that much progress on my own with the gesture. It was a lot easier to do it with the format of uh, YouTube Art School. It's like that format they present to gesture draw every day for time practice has been way more useful than what I was doing before. <clears throat> it was like a banana octopus mashup. This is pretty cool. I found some clip art of this on uh, Google. I wanted to try to draw it out. <coughs> this is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Uh, these are some more gestures. I'm trying to capture motion. I really like this guy on the left. It looks like he's walking. Um, I think that one was pretty successful. The Cosmic Monkey was really cool. Uh, this is like a beach lady. She's got a little hat on. Some Dragon Ball Z fan art. I did like a launch. She's a little small in the bottom half uh, in comparison with the reference. But I think it came out okay. This is uh, when I started to get more serious. I was trying to practice gesture and looking for a teacher. I found a uh, video from Proco where they have you like illustrate seals um, because seals actually are great gesture practice just because of their body shape. You can see like the seals will like kind of twist up uh, and it's real simple because it's just S curves. Maybe you do like a wrinkle, draw the fin. It's really simple. As you can see like the art, Progress is not linear. It's very up and down, uh, this practice. It, it, you're never gonna like get better every single day. It's more like better, a little worse, better, a little worse. But if you stay consistent at the end of the day, you'll be way better than you were when you started. This was a very funny drawing to me because of the crazy legs. Uh, and I learned an important lesson here. Like if there's not room on the paper, don't force it. Just like finish your figure um, without forcing their body onto the paper because you'll end up with like Crazy legs, look, look at this. I mean, it's ridiculous. We have some more gesture practice here. <clears throat> this like cartoon cat head was really cool. Um, it was another uh, pixel art I think I found on Pinterest. That was really cool. Clip art I found on Pinterest. Here is where I found, uh, I was trying to do like a value study on Proko's website. And uh, I realized that I've only, I'd only been using one pencil the whole time. I'd been using this uh, 3H uh, 3H Stadler pencil. So I was only using this pencil for a long time. And uh, if you see here, you just can't get darker values. Like the hardness of the pencil won't allow it. So I bought a set of uh, graphic pencils where I could get better values and ended up with like uh, drawings more similar to this, which I feel is much better. It gives a lot more depth. Um, that's something that I would definitely recommend doing first. If you can, basically to get started, all you need is a sketchbook and one pencil. It's better if you can get a set of pencils, that way you can have like uh, different values and you can really push your black and your uh, highlights with those like more refined sets of graphite pencils. This one was like a uh, Pikmin inspired. It was supposed to be cute and it turned out like kind of a Kind of creepy. It was supposed to be a cute little design, but uh, I don't know. I, I like the image. It's just, uh, it's a little weird. Here I was trying to learn how to do like realistic fur because I was like planning to draw my dog uh, the next day. <clears throat> I started off with this one. This is like a golden retriever. That's not my dog. <clears throat> I don't know what the hell I was thinking with that. Uh, this is supposed to be a gesture of my wife and my dog um, right after my dog had a little, uh, she had like a rash and had to get the cone of shame, <clears throat> but uh, I thought she was very cute with her cone. So I, I tried to do a little portrait of her. You can see like it's uneven. Uh, the left side of her face and the right side of her face are different sizes, but uh, I really felt like the left side was pretty successful. This was cool. I really liked the arm uh, with the peace sign. That was very cool. 
This is our cactus. Uh, it's grown like triple this size since I drew this. So that's been really fun, like sketching things out and uh, just kind of learning and observing things around me and then seeing how they change over time. It's been a lot of fun. The little hippie guy was very cool too. I really like this drawing. Uh, it's got some good depth to it as well. These balloon heads are really cool. I enjoyed drawing these. Uh, it's fun just to doodle sometimes and get creative. So this piranha plant actually was when I got uh, a more professional set of colored pencils. And like these have been really good. These are super soft lead. Um, they like kind of melt into the paper much better than a cheap color pencil. Um, and if you do go to solvent blending, then like these work really well for that. It gives you like a nice creamy texture. <coughs> This is like some uh, life drawing. I was trying to draw like a vase of flowers um, at an Airbnb while we were in Santo Domingo. Um, I drew this from a online reference. This is the uh, Columbus statue in uh, the colonial zone of Santo Domingo. That was just like uh, some notes. This is my first time doing an exercise I actually saw from Jess Carp, where she like goes out, draws from life and kind of sets these things up in like a comic book panel style. I really enjoyed those. Those are like uh, some things from my balcony in my apartment that I really, really thought was cool. I went over with like a wash of a uh, watercolor, but I really liked the effect from this. And I did quite a few more um, studies like that in my uh, watercolor port portfolio. <clears throat> this was very cool. I was like uh, planning to do a gouache painting, my first, second gouache painting. Um, I want to do like this Miller High Life bottle with the Monstera leaves inside. It came out pretty good. Um, the lettering and stuff, I just could not get right. I could not get the lettering to, uh, to line up correctly. Here's some studies from the art class. Uh, this is like a sketch from Bob's Burgers. I was watching the TV show and just trying to catch each character as they go frame by frame and like try to get their faces and stuff. But uh, it didn't come out great, but it was a lot of fun. And I remember, like when you sketch something, you really remember that moment. And uh, that's something that's very cool about that. I was doing an exercise here where you go to a random prompt generator. I'll, I'll put the link below so you can check it out too. But uh, it's a random prompt generator. It'll give you a topic. Then you select the amount of time. These timed exercises have been super helpful. Um, you select the amount of time. And then in that time, it'll give you a word. You have to draw something in the time limit provided for the word. And you do like four or five drawings in a row, maybe two minutes, three minutes max. But the first drawing will always be like, a typical whatever it is. In this case, it was a jack-o'-lantern. And you can see the first drawing is just like a typical Halloween jack-o'-lantern. The second drawing has a little more style. The third drawing is like a like some type of eggplant monster coming out. I really like that one, so I went with a colored pencil over it and uh, tried to make like a more rendered drawing on this side. But I really like the colors there. That was a lot of fun. Here's some gesture. <clears throat> so this is a really funny idea that I, I don't think I can execute. So this is supposed to be Coach Klein at uh, uh, Bobby Boucher's house eating the snake dinner. You can see in the back, he got like the SCLSU Mud Dog uh, license plate. You got the bug zapper that killed the squirrel. I was a big fan of that movie. So maybe one day I'll be able to pull it off. Well, that was it for this sketchbook. I mean, uh, it seems like a lot of pages, but really, um, now that I'm staying consistent, I filled up half of the second sketchbook in like three weeks. So if you stay consistent, you'll probably do more than one sketchbook a year, definitely. So in this sketchbook, uh, it was kind of all over the place because there was like some ideas that I had before for a business where we were going to take like these like small <clears throat> uh, transport buses and gut them and make it into a, like a campground. So I was just using this stuff for uh, pretty much nose. I was like drawing little doodles in here. I wasn't really taking art seriously at this time. And that's how I was ending up with a, uh, you know, stuff like this. Not very good. Over time though, it got better. Um, this exercise was really cool. This was like, uh, you like draw out as many types of things as you can. I was doing like sunglasses. I got like nine types of sunglasses, types of hands, types of cups, uh, types of pencil holders, staffs, weapons. 
all those kind of things. It was like just trying to make different types. Uh, I did the same thing here. I was doing different types of houses. This is some pen exercises. I don't know what happened with his face. I think this is so funny. Um, but I guess I was trying to learn how to do faces still. And uh, this is what I ended up with. But that, that was like really funny to me. This is from my trip to Louisiana. Um, I really enjoyed doing this drawing. This was like a crocodile on a brochure. Here's like a crawfish, some uh, crystal hot sauce. All this stuff is like local to Louisiana. <clears throat> so the study I was doing on like uh, rabbit photos on pexels.com. If you go check out Pexels, all of the photos are royalty free and you can get really good references. Um, these two are more realistic. I try to do like a cartoonized version, like a cute little version, but uh, it's just important to keep trying different things to see like where your creativity can go. <coughs> this was like a charcoal study I did, uh, watching Minions. I really enjoyed doing this, uh, like watching movies or TV shows and just sketching about it. But the value on this one was really good. Uh, it came out super bright. This is a fun exercise too. You like uh, comic book panel things out and you have like two minutes per panel to tell your story. This is really fun. Really most of this one has been filled up with like figure drawing. Um, figure drawing is so important because it gives you like better ob observational skills for you to just like pick up your pace and really start doodling out your ideas quickly because like Especially when you draw from life, sometimes you're not going to be able to uh, to uh, capture your images quickly. So you just have to try to sketch it out as fast as you can. Most of these are like one to two minute drawings. Um, I've just been working on this a lot. This was something I really enjoyed doing. This was like a, a baseball player. <clears throat> I thought I got her form really well. She's proportionate. Her shirt looks nice. Like uh, I was really happy with this drawing. These are fairly recent too. These are all within the last few weeks. So all this stuff was after I started Mark Brunet's program. You can see these figures too have a like just a much more skillful skillful <clears throat> uh, way of being done. <coughs> I've done like hundreds of these uh, studies to try to just improve my uh, drawing skills. I will tell you this though, in uh, art school there has been a lot of nudity, more nudity than I thought was going to be involved. Um, we basically draw naked people every morning for like 30 minutes to an hour. So be prepared for that if you want to do uh, art, art, YouTube art school with uh, Mark Brunet. <clears throat> Here I was doing like some environment studies. Um, I was like just trying to capture like scenes quickly and see what I could get. Um, the bedroom came out pretty nice. I really like this image here with the lighter and the uh, fireball. I thought that was a really cute idea for like a cartoon of some sort. And this is my last hand sketch in this book. Uh, I have this idea for like a alien character. Um, I want to do like maybe comic book panels of it first and hopefully be good enough to turn it into like a short animation by the end of this year. But I think that'll be a really fun project for me. <clears throat> YouTube art school is heavily focused on digital art, but you can use everything you learn in traditional media too. You could take the class with a pencil and paper if you wanted. Um, you would miss out on some of the Photoshop uh, lessons because you can't really Photoshop on paper. But uh, I did actually end up buying a digital tablet in November of last year. So I had maybe seven months of like practice before I decided like, okay, I gotta get a tablet. I bought the Huon Canvas 16. I highly recommend this um, because I tried doing digital art with my cell phone first. It's a Galaxy Note. And the, uh, the cell phone is just too small. The canvas is too small. It's very difficult to get like finished pieces out. It's fine if you're doing like t-shirt design or you want to make wall art or something. Uh, you could definitely do that digitally on your phone. But uh, for like drawing bigger rendered stuff, like uh, digital drawing tablets really useful. I think this one was 250 on Black Friday, 250 bucks. So it's not bad. You do need a computer to run it though. It doesn't run by itself. And it was upside down the whole time. So you do need a computer to run this. Um, but this has been really, really helpful. And uh, it comes with everything you need. It comes with like an artist glove, the pen, replacement nibs, the tablet, the connectors, the adapter. It comes with everything you're gonna need to get started.
Thank you.